a very warm welcome. It's Choma Hair back with another video. And for today is the beginnings of many hair stories. Super, super excited to be able to have the gorgeous Trish Chanda with me. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be on Choma's <laughs> channel. I'm so excited. If nobody knows me, I'm Trish Chanda and I'm also on YouTube. So if you're into lifestyle, motivation and chats and that type of thing just pop over to my channel come and say hello exactly you definitely <laughs> need to go ahead and go check her out and of course you would have seen our video the what zombie attack obviously zombie attack exactly zombie and a lot of you guys have been asking oh when's the next video when's the next video here we are <laughs> here we are so if you guys haven't checked that out the link will be above so definitely check that out and for today we're going to share with you guys a little bit about our hair experiences what it was like growing up and how we've come full circle mm. <laughs> and all of that good and stuff. It is. Circle. <laughs> exactly. Literally. <laughs> so if you want to be able to find out more, then stick around. Alright guys, here we go. A lot of us, I'm sure, have got stories. Plenty, plenty, plenty of stories. But I want to like RWD. Let's rewind. Let's go all the way back. Let's go to childhood. So we'll do this. Oh, like, chronologically. I mean, like, we're gonna go <laughs> We're gonna go back, 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 back. And for me, early memories, my hair's always been really thick. It's always been really, really coarse, even yeah. before I got it relaxed. And I think that was part of the struggle and why my sisters ended up just relaxing my hair because yeah, it so was hard. just to them not manageable. It was very, very thick. So they ended up relaxing it at a very young age, actually. I think I was about seven or eight. Oh, that's really young. Is when I actually got my hair relaxed. So it's kind of like from there, that's when I was just like, okay, this relaxer thing. I can look in the mirror and it's nice and slick and smooth and, you know. Yeah, that's, really, <laughs> that's really young though. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can imagine. When did you get your hair relaxed? I'm 14. Oh, 13, wow. 14, yeah. You were a late bloomer. I know. I, I think that's <laughs> young, but people like, no, that's late. But yeah. Seriously. Yeah. How did like, you literally, know? obviously, I grew up with my dad, so like, not having a mom, like, hair was a uh, struggle. Mm. Struggle. Mm -hmm. So, literally, all my dad used to do was just braid my hair all the time. I'd braid my hair, I'd wash it out, I'd braid my hair again. And then we'd wash it, then we'd just put more braids in Yeah. It. Like, literally, that was it. I was just... And would you I'd go to the hair salon to get it braided? I'd go to the hair salon. Okay. I used to go to this lady, a uh, lady's house was a hairdresser called Sonia. And everybody at school used to call me Moesha. Like, I grew up in the north of England, from Leeds, and like, I used to walk down the street and like... <laughs> They'd be like, oh my gosh, it's Moesha. And I'd be like, no, mm. yeah. I used to go with the thought I was Moesha. Like, oh, that's all, I've had. all I had, ever had was braids. The worst experience of getting my hair done because I had to do it with my sisters and okay. I did my hair was taking the braids out. That was the worst experience because you'd sit down, you'd take the braid, and my dad doesn't know how to comb hair and the combing okay. of the hair yeah. and the washing of the hair. I absolutely hated that. I'd rather sit down and get it braided. But yeah. cut, oh, that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> And I think for me, it was just the, the the whole experience of getting your relaxer done. Like, you would just be sitting there oh, waiting. Well, I just can't believe how... Do yeah, people start normally around eight? No, I know kids that have, that are still getting their hair relaxed at like three, four years old. No. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, wow. so like, for, that's, this is, so that's what I'm saying. So even from a very, very young age, like you would kind of have to bear the brunt of, you know what you have to go through yeah. because of what you're going to get as an outcome. It was always the pain and the struggle of sitting there. And the burning. Exactly. And then somebody telling you like, tell me when it starts to burn. And for me, it was after like two or three seconds, my hair was <laughs> stuck. <burning. laughs> but they're like, no, 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 no. Your hair is too coarse. Your hair is too coarse. You have to sit there a little bit longer. And I'm like, can you imagine? Did you have to get burned in your hair? Yeah, probably. I'm sure I have. You know you would get those scabs. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. I guess I was a proper late bloomer. When I got my hair first relaxed, it just shows. Mm. My hair was like here. Yeah. It was quite long and I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then I was addicted. Yeah. <laughs> then I was like, oh, and it didn't hurt. And then you needed easy. the creamy crack. Yeah. Like this. Exactly. Then you needed the creamy crack. All the That's time. it. Teenagers now, after you discovered braids. the relaxer. <laughs> but you went back to braids again? Yeah, because you know oh what? Oh my so god. When my auntie came to visit me from Zambia, she came and she stayed with us for us. She's the one that actually relaxed my hair. Okay. If she never visited, I'd have never relaxed my hair. Never I'd have never okay. known what a relaxer okay. was because there was no, it was just me and my sisters. There's no like a mom in my house. Yeah. And like, 
So when she left, I don't have time. What am I buying the relaxer yeah. from? How am I doing it? How are you gonna exactly? Doing it for me? So exactly. I just went back to braids. Like you yeah. see with all my pictures, braids, mm -hmm. yeah, braids, braids, braids. When I got to like 2021, 20, mm -hmm. I relaxed my own hair because okay. then I found out how it really worked. Okay. But that was the journey. But before that. Just break. I think for me, teenage years definitely was filled with like great cane roll style. So it's what we we now still call braids. Yeah. But you know, it's cane rows. Everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. knows cane rows. And I went to a school that wasn't very what's the best way to describe was it? It, a bad it was it was a bad school. <laughs> it was a bad school choice. Like was it in school special questions? measures? <laughs> School. So they, that's what they call it now. That's the thing. Was special measures? Yeah, it was special measures. This was like North London in Hornsey. Science class, sometimes maths as well. I would get my hair done every every week, every other week, and I had like three hairstylists. Shout out to Paula, Joshua, and Estriana because you guys hooked me up every single time. Oh, wow, you really got your hair listen. Hair I really got my hair done, and it was patterned as well, which is great. You know when the, the yeah, pattern yeah, style, yeah, 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 you yeah, get yeah. the zigzag, you get like the yeah, little, and yeah. these. Listen, you guys did the most. <laughs> you guys did the most. I think that's when kind of like creatively, that's where I started like knowing how to came row without even realizing. Because ah, I just picked it up. So that's how I actually started. The time and then you went from there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started. So like, it was just, it was the most fun, but I'm lucky I came out and actually was successful in life because... <laughs> But then like teenagers was that and obviously because my hair is, was still relaxed, I was still creative, I was still put it up in like buns, I'd still do updos and I've got some hilarious pictures. Wow. You know, <laughs> when was your first weave? Was it before I did Miss Zambia? Did you do it as well? Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. my god. I came second. I should have won by the way. Mm. Did you? What year did you do Miss Zambia? Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. I did Miss Zambia. Okay. Were you Miss Zambia? <laughs> yes. Oh, Oh, I didn't click. Listen, uh, doing the dancing. This happy UK 2006, man. Oh, wow. Hey, alums. So I must have been like 17, 18, and I didn't even weave it. You know, okay. remember bonding? Oh, wow. And that was a good You went straight to bonding. My sister did my hair. Wow. We didn't have my sister's out. We don't have time to go. No hair <laughs> She just learned how to do, she bonded my hair. But you know what, she did a quick, really, really good job. The only thing about bonding is you know, no, it's glue, yeah, rich yeah, your hair, blah, exactly. blah, blah. But when I finished, I was like, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were feeling yourself, yeah? <laughs> Literally, that's what I was like. But um, that was like my first week. Okay. Similar story. So I got into pageanting, like randomly. That's another story for another day, by the <laughs> I can't way. Believe right? you're Miss it's another story for, Such for a another day. World. So Miss Zambia UK was actually my second pageant. And by then I was a little bit um I've always been a late bloomer. So like all the makeup, all of that kind of stuff, hair came a lot later. Really? So by the time I got to Miss Zambia, I was like, okay, I guess I have to have a weave. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was very new to even getting my ears pierced because for the longest I didn't have my ears really yeah like i only wow. pierced my ears because of a boy and that was that again that's another story for wow. another time so by the time that i got to miss zambia i was like okay we went through like the rehearsals everything i'm like i, I guess this is this is it i have to get my first weave yeah 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 and that was my first weave miss zambia uk 2006 that's so funny because it's the same thing isn't <laughs> exactly. it you have to do and it's kind of like that's okay so, so that is that was it and then from there you go you start experimenting you start doing different styles so i went from like when did straight, you start wearing makeup then around that time as well so oh, i started no. yeah I started no 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 i girl. started mm. like proper makeup as in foundation so i would do like Thirty. mascara Thirty. I'll do mascara and like eyeliner, and but it. like foundation, no. And then that's what broke out my skin. Oh. <laughs> Again, another story for another time. <laughs> but yeah, like in terms of like the weaves, I would try like straight, curly, the wavy look. Like I've yes. just got so many I'm weave stories. Red, blonde. <laughs> Like I've got so many. So many oh my gosh! I just have this beautiful blonde weave I love, and even at one point I had platinum blonde. Oh wow! Nah, that's that's levels. That is levels. <laughs> You know when you look when you were young, I was like, uh, uh, and you look back but and you're like, no, baby. like mm, no, it's okay. looking back, it's like, that is not work, girl. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you come full circle? So obviously, like you know, the whole natural hair movement. It's like, oh my gosh, natural hair movement. It's like a pressure and all of that kind of stuff. You know, like, mm, no, mm, no, you know, you know what it is. You know. I 
I love natural hair and even my own hair now um, obviously I've got a wig on yeah but I love natural hair and even my own natural I've got natural hair like sometimes I only like do a little bit of the front just to mm -hmm. flatten it but in general my hair is natural I just I'll be completely honest yeah like girl you are good I don't have time okay <laughs> I don't have time, like, and I know there's so many people out there, but yeah. let me just say something. I know I'm on YouTube, so, but I want to say something. All the natural hair bloggers, some really nice ones, but some of you guys, you make us girls who are not there, there, you're like, oh, you're so not you doing natural Nazis, hair, you're you like, have the Nazis, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> You feel like really like you feel like oh let me not relax my hair because the natural because yeah. what do you call the natural hair Nazi? Yeah, they still not come after me. And they'll be like, and then the thing is, like, hair. no, that's not the case. It's maybe because we know the implications or like the risks now when you're actually relaxing your hair. Do you know yeah. what I mean? If you don't know better, you won't do better. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like we're not just saying this because it's the thing to do now at the at this moment in time. Yeah, it's kind of like the same way that you take care of your body and you want to be healthier in all aspects same of it with your hair. it's exactly the same with your hair and okay. just being able to understand the chemicals that go into your hair it's probably why we're a little bit harder on people now because it's kind of like no actually understand what's going on with your hair and that's why i always say like i don't have issues with like people doing like um putting in weaves or wigs or anything like that yeah but in terms of like putting chemicals in your hair that's when i'm kind of like I'm gonna look at you like just think a little bit more about what you're actually doing because like you know we're not doing this just for the fun of it and like everybody on my channel already knows like it wasn't the hair movement that got me to stop relaxing do you what know what I mean my hair stops ta stopped oh, taking yeah, I remember, I remember. my hair I literally just, just stopped taking the relaxer and I thought that I could just continue using heat so I would continue Ooh. Just straightening my hair, straightening my hair, straightening my hair, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Until like one day I was just kind of like, well, just leave it, just leave it out for a bit. And that's how I kind of got used to just having my hair out. And then 2000, tail end of 2014, I got bored and I just cut it all off. <laughs> I cut it all off. And then here we are now. I just started again. And then wow, wow. <laughs> that was it. That's how I came full circle. No, but I do think you do a really good job. And obviously you've got beautiful hair. Thank you. Um, I think if I had more of the time like even like i'm gonna like put my hair back in braids soon because i'm just mm -hmm. tired of wigs and yeah i don't want to weave it but and that's the thing a, a lot of people time. a lot of people can relate to that because like people will drop me messages or hit me up with questions and they'll be like ah oh, like i really want to be able to try but it's just so hard for me it's just the time it's yeah. just that and it's just like bite-sizing it and what i'd encourage people is kind of like just do like you know slow and steady you know, okay. even if you're at home on your own, just yeah. let your hair out and breathe. If you know you're not leaving the house for a couple of days or whatever, yeah. before you put back back the weave or the wig, just let your hair breathe. Just give it time to like recuperate. Yeah. And okay. then it just goes back into it. And then just start having a routine where it becomes more consistent. And then you're good to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know what you mean. I think if you get in a routine, you can do it. But it's just getting in that routine. routine yeah. Like, having the time for it that is another thing i'm not here to tell you what to do with your hair do you yeah. know what i mean yeah, like i am yeah. completely not that person you you see me go through my own struggles you know what i mean yeah. like some people I can't even, like, even down your throat you know exactly and like for me it's just kind of like do do what you want to do with your hair at the end of the day do you know what i mean mm. and like for anybody that's out there who wants to be able to have their hair out and have it natural and all of that kind of stuff hopefully they're able to learn something so like that's what this video is all about yeah. it's just kind of like you know, it's great to be able to share our hair stories. I know, like it's so. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah, like what what is gonna be next? What are you gonna be trying um, in 2018? I wanna try like um like dreads, but not dread dreads. Oh the forelocks. Forelocks. Forelocks would be really good. I They're really pretty. want to try. They're that. really, really pretty. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do like old school, like flat braid as well, but a really cute style. Yeah. But I need to wait after I've had a baby because I'm actually pregnant at the moment. I've yeah. got a fat face. I need to wait when my face goes a little bit down because, you know, otherwise that's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just want to do old school braids. Like my next start, I'm just, I just want to braid my hair. Yeah. Oh, that will be nice. I want to have it quite long. Yeah. I'm playing around with colour. I don't know if I want to colour my hair. I don't know if 2018 is going to be the year where I no. add a little bit of colour in my hair. Are you scared of it? I've always been, not that, but I'm pretty like, I'm adventurous with hairstyles, but yeah. I'm pretty boring in that I'm just, the you know what I mean? Stuff. The colours. I think yeah, the colours. And, and I wouldn't know what, where not to even summer. start. I think colours color look a lot nicer in summer. Mm. And then maybe try more pieces, because obviously you guys would have noticed 
this. I don't really wear a lot of like big pieces in my hair. Yeah. Tons of like extensions. Like I would do like the the four buns that I do, but I haven't really like done like massive attachments for a while. So okay. it would be like really good to be able to try and experiment a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> experiment a little bit more. And yeah, and I think that is us. It's been so much fun chatting. Oh my and gosh, I'm gonna it's been good really little catch up. Really Thank you so I'm much for having me. It's oh, been fun. Welcome. Channel. Thanks for joining me. As Trish mentioned earlier, feel free to check her out. I will put the links down in my description. So you can check her out on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Yeah, so YouTube is just Trish Chanda, T-I-I-S-H-C-H-A-N-D-A. -A. It's a bit of promo. <laughs> <laughs> you I have to plug, you have to plug. And plug, then plug, Instagram plug. is Trish M. Chanda, but I'm sure Trish is going to put all the details below. But yeah. come over, come and say hello. Love Steph, go say hi. What I do. Exactly. <laughs> all right, that is it from us, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Drop us any questions, bit of a chit chat. Tell us your hair experiences. Let's just all chat in the comments below. And of course, if you're joining me for the very first time or you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Obviously. Duh, go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> also hit that Oto notification bell. That way you know every single time I post a video. All right guys, until next time, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I hope you've brought me a drink. Yeah. I hope there's a nice soft drink, you know, you, you people yeah. that drink are selfish now. You know what? You don't, yeah. you don't think of soft drinks of people that don't drink. You know what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what happens? <laughs> Let's see, just do the video. See, the thing is, yeah, that means you're me, I part. brought Schler when I came to your house, but oh, someone, yeah. okay. when someone, yeah. when they come to someone's house, have you cooked? Mwe. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do the video. <laughs>